What is SIP trunking? Let's find out. Hey, what's going on? My name is Sam Stiles. I'm Matthew Hilton. Welcome to another edition of UC Tech Chat. Let's talk about SIP trunking. Let's do it. All right, so what is SIP trunking? So before we talk about SIP trunking in general, what we want to do is kind of define some common terms. So SIP trunking oftentimes gets confused for VoIP. Mm -hmm. uh, and the terms sometimes get used interchangeably. Um, so basically VoIP, or Voice Over Internet Protocol, is essentially kind of talking about the way that your phones are physically connected to a different system. So whether it's connected to you know, phone to phone or phone to phone, to phone system, uh, Voice Over IP is saying, I'm going to use my network cable that's already in place, that my computers use to connect, that my laptops use to connect, and I'm going to plug my phone into that physical line. Uh, from a traditional sense, uh, previously we would use analog lines or digital lines to connect to our PBX, uh, and that would give us uh, a whole separate set of wires that we had to maintain and manage and run. And so uh, from a physical standpoint, it's just a little bit messier, it's a little bit more costly to go ahead and run two disparate systems, um, even though they're kind of in the same kind of space, so yeah. to speak. Um, so that's kind of, uh, that's the underline, that's the underpinning, right, of what SIP provides. Okay. SIP, on the other hand, which stands for Session Initiation Protocol, is really the language that, lay, that lays on top of Voice over IP. Mm -hmm. So Voice over IP is the physical wire. Session Initiation Protocol, or SIP, is the language that the phones use to talk to the phone system to say, hi, how are you, answer, ringing, and things like that. So it's just kind of one of the many different types of what's called a protocol that phones can use to communicate with their phone system. Gotcha. Okay. Um, and talking about that, what's the value of SIP trunking? Can you explain a little bit more why it's valuable to me? Of course. So from a traditional standpoint, the way that we got phone calls to a phone system was either over an analog line, which is one for one. I get one line for every single call on my phone system. And then we move to digital circuits, such as PRIs, which can give you 23 concurrent calls for every one physical line. Mm -hmm. And then with SIP, because we're basically going over your internet connection or another type of network connection, we can have essentially unlimited number of calls on a phys one physical medium. Gotcha. So if we look to scale that out, either digital or analog, if you've got a thousand concurrent calls that you want to make, um, that can be very costly to bring into your building and to maintain all of that physical wiring. So VoIP lines or SIP trunks, on the other hand, uh, you just have that one connection and everybody gets lit up and you can essentially have as many calls as you want. Okay. So let's transition a little bit and talk about cost. Uh, if I'm looking at saving money, and obviously I want to save money when I'm implementing any kind of phone system sure. or any system, um, you know, are we talking about pennies and dimes or are we talking about larger margins for, for what we're saving, you know, can I appreciate that as a customer? I think you can. And whether you're a small business or a large organization, um, there's kind of a sliding scale of how much you're going to be able to save. So because it's uh, levels of scale, right, if I'm trying to make a 1,000 concurrent calls for my business, for my location, that would mean I need to hold a lot of digital or analog physical circuits. And when you're talking about you know, one or two lines being 10 or $20 a month, that's not so bad. When you're talking about thousands of lines at $20 or more per month, or say a T1 that may cost anywhere from $400 to $600 per month, mm -hmm. just to have that line physically connected, we're not even talking about cost for actual calling at this point, then that can add up very quickly. Gotcha. So because we can shrink that down and SIP trunks are less expensive because it's just going over kind of existing infrastructure, um, you can take that monthly ongoing cost and shrink it down to almost nothing. Wow. So it sounds like you can save a, a Pretty good amount of money, considerable amount. Right? You, cer you certainly can, yeah. Okay. So just with some of the rough numbers I just kind of mentioned, uh -huh. I mean, there are consumers out there that can save anywhere from 50 to 80% off their telephone bills. Uh, and that's just the holding cost month to month. When you consider uh, per minutes rates or actual calling rates, yeah. um, that can drop their bill even further. So yeah, there's some significant cost savings to switching over to VoIP and SIP. Sure. Yeah, it sounds like it adds up, you know, the value over, over the lifetime. So Absolutely. I think that's going to do it for this edition of UC Tech Chat. My name is Sam Stiles. I'm Matthew Hilton. Thanks for joining us. And we'll see you next time.